Hey, it's me, Kay Loves Perfume. Uh, you can see there's a little bit different backdrop behind me. These are my dolls. They're a little bit spooky to other people, but I think they're awesome. So, I'm filming right here today. So, hey everyone, this is Kay Loves Perfume. If you're new here, hello. Um, I subscribe down below to join in on my perfume. Uh, okay, so today I have a fragrance that I blind bought, but don't worry, it was super duper cheap. This fragrance only costed um fourteen dollars on Amazon, and it comes in a red bottle. And it is called lady in red and it is a dupe so we're going to test this out Blah. we are going to test this out today so without further ado okay i did some digging and this fragrance is a dupe for this fragrance and we're gonna test that out. So, let's get right on into it. Some ASMR incorporated into the video. Along with a blind bought fragrance. Don't you just love blind buying cheap fragrances? It's always fun, because when they're winners, you're like, I only spent like $15 and it smells so good and then you could spray it all the time because you didn't spend much on it so it's a win-win Ooh, look at the bottle it is red <laughs> lady in red from Pascal Morabito Hypnotic poison. Woo. So the top notes in this, it's the, the most prominent notes, I mean, in this fragrance are anise, licorice, musk, and vanilla. And in other words, it is a total dupe for hypnotic poison. And it 100% is. And I've smelled other fragrances that are dupes for Hypnotic Poison. And they don't smell like 100% match like this does. Like I'm getting all of the components. I have Aura Flame, um, Amber Elixir, which they say is a dupe for Hypnotic Poison. But to me, this smells closer. Like this gives me more Hypnotic Poison. I've had Elia Blanche before. That one wasn't quite on the mark. Um, I've smelled Confetti. That one was close. Tinciana Terenzi um, Lintz, I believe it's called, is super duper close, but it's more erotic and it's more like um, hypnotic poison made into an alcoholic beverage served with ice. That's what I get from Lintz, I believe it's called, from Tinciana Terenzi. I'll put that up here. And yeah, so that's the vibe that I get. And Hypnotic Poison and her dupe. Her dupe is super good. So yeah, I recommend on terms of smell. I don't know longevity yet, but I will find out for you guys. So yeah. Ooh, it's kind of got a little bit of like a leathery. No, that's not leather. That's more like a, a thicker licorice. I like it. It's giving me more EDP. Hypnotic Poison EDP versus Hypnotic Poison EDT. I'm getting a little bit heavier licorice. And the anise is definitely like the same thing as licorice, I think. They kind of smell similar, but... I don't know how to differentiate them, but I know that anise is what people voted as the top note. So it might be a little bit drier smelling than licorice. But I don't know my licorice. I don't know my notes that well. But yeah, so 
I give this fragrance pretty good rating in terms of smell and comparison to Hypnotic Poison. So, smells good enough to spray over Hypnotic Poison and then do that whole douse yourself in this fragrance and do just a few sprays of this so that you save this and you just overspray this because this didn't cost very much. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe to join in on my perfume addiction.